Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> Jesus listen, Christ. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. How are you? Good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners, not just any moonshiners, Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites? Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? These damn flies! I 
swear they've got it in for me. That could don't try look good. Once in a oh. while. <laughs> Come on, mister. Keep your what? eyes open. What's wrong? This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Wow, dude. I'm taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lamont State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Hey, slow it down a bit. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. We drink a sailor under the table, but easy. We ain't in that much of a hurry. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the break. Completes a thing. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive. Understood? Oh Found my God! And take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Take them alive. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How the this? Well, the way I said Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Feel like I'm playing Metal Gear again. The cone. The cone of visibility. He just wants the bridge over there. Straight through the swamp. I think you take this one, Bill. With pleasure.
one more, Arthur. Okay. Oh my god, knock this guy out. Yo, beer bottle. Carry your bitch ass. Good work, gentlemen. Throw him in the water. <laughs> you see the the dent I left in him <laughs> from the bottle. <laughs> That's cool. Add him to the pile, Arthur. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Oh god, I ignite- oh! Killing. Give me a hand with these bastards. We're putting you out of business. Hip shot. There's more coming up from those huts. Huts. You're the one that's behind me, man. Damn moonshiners. Well done! <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return. To our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. 
Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Bad boys for life. Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! Bing, bing. Shoot your horse out. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Eat my dust, Dutchy. Is it? It's pretty far. Think back to you and your pride. Oh, my God, the hell. fact that you haven't learned after all these years to ride a horse very well that is a source of great sorrow to me very funny i have fun with you today be well here well i was gonna say you're like a son to me but you're more than that crash my horse and fail Ugh. That was real dumb. Okay, I'm going to eat. Arthur. Crafting up. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like oh, yeah. out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me. Oh, so that's how I upgrade my satchel. I see. Oh. So you can customize your place even better. Thanks, Pierce. Interesting. Lunch time. Do you believe in heaven, Miss Grimshaw? 
Excuse me? Do you believe in heaven? Heaven? Yes, you know, angels, bright lights, that sort of thing. You know, I... I, I once was engaged to a man a long time ago. He died. The best man I ever knew. I believe he's in heaven. Take... I'm gonna buy the camp thing for everyone. Keep that morale up, you know? Spent some of my own hard earned money. Black bear pelt, Charles Carrot. I see. Potent healing cures. Tonics. More room to hitch. Can't boat. Did I boost when consuming stew? Cocaine for everyone. That's it. Hey, change right there. Oh. I thought you wanted to talk to me for a second. There he is. The man who saved my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mm. Go away. Where did we, where did we get these jackets? I'll ride no coat for a while. And I'm going to shave. Here, boy. Here, boy. Uh, Need a haircut, too. Who's dog? Well, well. <laughs> Where did he come from? I don't know. He just wandered in. Hi, my friend. Hi. Well, then he's ours, I guess. For now. Aww. That's so great. 15 hours. Hey, boy. Aww. What should we call him? Morning time. Got ammunition up the wazoo. Molly. Hi. 
How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> we'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. I don't know how to play dominoes. I can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. What do you want? Necklace? Oh, come on. I had lots of those. Up, amigo. Pass me. I'll pass. That's as it should be. Come here. My goddamn luck. I somehow win. <laughs> if the Pinkertons could see you now, killer, bank robber, dominoes player. Well, you gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headline. Well, keep your eye out there. All right, that was the most stimulating thing. Hey, Arthur, C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything, so. Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects... With the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way. Bunch of smart Alex. How do you get wind of this? Fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellas were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So 
What is it? You scoped here, exactly. Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Money. Hey, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Don't hit a tree. We're okay. Get rid of these sons of bitches. Y'all made a big mistake. Nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How loud I know. There's a whole lot of them back there. Everyone, stay tight. They will come on. Oh my God. I'll lose them. I'll lose them. Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get back to camp! No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men to camp. Alright! Come on now! Whoa! Let's, let's, let's hide in here. Quick! Go on! Get out of here! Get out of here, go on. I'll see you later. Alright. Let's get out of sight. We'll stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> 